Wow. Wow, this just doesn't... This just doesn't happen, guys. This. I'm in northern Indiana. We're like the, uh... Literally... The... <laughs> The lake effect snow capital of like the Midwest. I mean, it's either northern Indiana, southern part of Michigan, well, pretty much all of Michigan. But uh, I don't know if you guys know what lake effect snow is, but essentially, it is uh, it's when the water comes off of the lake and uh, it literally dumps feet of snow onto you onto uh, pretty much the entire area wherever the wind is blowing. <laughs> and so this time of year, usually we have like maybe two, three feet of snow. And I'm looking at the sun. It's unbelievable. It's like 60 degrees out today. It's awesome. It just doesn't happen. Hey, everybody. Craig Chamberlain. This is IT Life. Uh, and uh, you join me in my journey through life. Uh, it's kind of a memoir for me and my kids and, and anybody who's wanting to watch. And I love your guys' comments, too. It helps immensely. I'm actually... I, I, I would take the sun out of the video, but I don't because it's literally Christmas Eve and the sun is out and that's wicked weird so this is a memory to remember a rememory that's right a rememory don't forget about it so last night was pretty awesome I went to a hacienda with the family for a birthday party we got two birthdays in December and uh, they always get screwed on their gifts but we try to isolate the Christmas from the uh, from the birthday gifts so that they don't get screwed on the holiday um, it was my sister-in-law, and of course, Hacienda's Hacienda. It's good. I like Hacienda. Chips and salsa you always fill up on, and then whatever you order, you take home, and you eat it the next day. So this this afternoon, I will be eating a chimichanga and a wet burrito. Yay. Exciting. Uh, but something kind of came up during that, that trip, and I don't know if you guys ever have this happen to you. I am one of those people who I'm very introverted. So in other words, like I, I will be outgoing and easygoing around people to a to a degree you know and but I end up I have this mental filter where I lie so that I can tell people kind of what I think they want to hear rather than what it's really on my mind because I'm like it's not so much like to manipulate them to make maybe just to make them like me more I don't know but it's more like to to spare their feelings like so like I think oh maybe I shouldn't say this it might hurt their feelings you know what I mean now, it's good to do that from time to time because, you know, it's, it's called tact, right? Have you guys ever heard of tact? It's when you don't say everything on your mind, like you at least filter some of it so you don't come across as a brash butthole. <laughs> I mean, it's good to be tactful, but, like, to a, to a different degree, you don't want to spin to the other end of the spectrum and, like, never say what's on your mind because then you're never honest with people, and that tends to be the spectrum I fall in because I, I want to make sure that they all like me, right? That's a, it's important to me. But that's on... That's not healthy, you know. So I caught myself last night doing that with somebody who kind of did something wrong. And lo and behold, I was honest with them and they were grateful for it. You know, it's not the thing in your head that you imagine happening, you know. You, 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 in, in my head, I picture being honest with somebody's going to make them really mad at me and angry. But, like, it depends on the person you're talking to. Like, I appreciate when people are honest with me when I say something wrong or do something wrong. Um, but I don't give other people that benefit of the doubt that when I'm honest with them in a gentle or nice way that they'll be grateful for it. And I probably should do that for people more. You know, it's good to be honest. Christmas Eve, guys, be honest. I mean, that's really... It was just something interesting that, that I ran into yesterday. I, it happens to me more often than I would like. The problem is if you're not completely honest with people, you build up the lies in your head. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you have to perpetuate whatever lies you you start with whoever it is you're talking to. And it, it, and then there's this aloof, passive-aggressive honesty in lies. And that doesn't work either because, like, you're not really expressing truly how you feel. And I guess the best part is, like, if you're mad or angry about something, just, like, isolate, pray, think about it, whatever you need to do, whatever your process is, and then approach them in a gentle way. And I don't do this very well. You know what I mean? But it seems to be the best way. I've seen it produce the best results. Wow, this video is already over. Guys, I'm going to go enjoy the sun. And have a merry, merry Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever your holiday is for this year. And enjoy your family. And try to be honest when it's appropriate. Have a good day.